Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Lee Zaragoza. And I'm Steve Newton. No, no, switch those. There we go. All right. We're looking at history in the making, Steve. For the first time ever, China is going to send a woman into space on the mission to the Tangong One Space Lab. Uh, there's actually a hiccup in your enthusiasm, Lee, because as of right now, two women female fighter pilots are shortlisted for a place in the three-person team. Major Liu Yang, who's been titled a hero pilot, and her rival, Captain Wang Yaping, a rescue mission pilot. Oh man, tough choice. A hero pilot and a rescue mission pilot? Mm. A major and a captain, and apparently they were selected as members of the first batch of female astronauts in China because of their excellent flight skills and psychological quality. Which is rare, because you know how women are, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Lee? You, you feeling me? No, no, I'm not feeling you, Steven. And come on, it's just a classic misogynistic society, making very qualified women fight for a spot on the mission. What, are they gonna put them in a pool of pudding and, and make them fight it out? Or are gonna tell them, like, here's your ticket, now, now slap each other's faces and pull each other's hair, yeah, right? No, Lee, there's no, there's no fight, it's not a competition, it's just saying that two women are awesome enough to be in line to be part of a very significant step in China's manned spaceflight history. No, not two women! Oh, it's so hard for women to make spaceship go-go! Where's my spatula? So many buttons! This space is so big! Okay. Oh, no! Alright, Lee, look, I think you're going a little overboard here. Did you know that Chinese authorities have decreed that only mothers can train as astronauts? Apparently because of their concern that spaceflight might affect women's fertility. And that's looking out. Come on. Also, China will be the eighth country to see a female citizen go to space. And it's said that female astronauts tend to be more keen and sensitive with better communication skills than their male counterparts. You hear that, Lee? More keen and sensitive? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Hey, Steve, do you think I could be an astronaut? Yeah, Lee, you could be anything you want to be. I, I mean, as long as you have the proper education, piloting skills, perfect 20-20 vision, 140 over 90 blood pressure, between 62 and 75 inches tall when standing, train for two years when you tread water for 10 minutes, swim in a flight suit and tennis shoes, and be a NASA employee for like five years, but then yeah, yeah, you could be an astronaut. Oh, okay, cool. God, that sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out, but good for you, ladies. Yeah, good, good job, women and, 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 and men, and women and men, and people. Just good job, people, in general. So guys, do you think you have what it takes to become an astronaut and why? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, click the annotation down below or go to sourcefed.com for our five daily stories and everything else we've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. And I'm Steve Zaragoza, and I got 25 bucks on Liu Yang. Well, that's not the point, Steve. I got 25 bucks on Liu Yang. Thank <music> you.